Welcome to the Databricks Experience at the Grand Lux Cafe in the Venetian. We're here at AWS reInvent 2024, and I'm joined by Jalen Stays, Principal Data Engineer at Ibotta. Welcome, Jalen. Thank you for having me. So Jalen, by way of introduction, can you tell us a little bit more about Ibotta and your role? Yeah, uh, so I'm a Principal Data Engineer, and I am uh, the engineering lead for two data teams that we have at Ibotta. The first one is a data infrastructure and compliance team. So that team is focused on uh, the actual infrastructure underlying our data platform, as well as the governance and compliance controls that we have in place. Uh, the other team is the data enablement engineering team. So uh, they are focused on building tools that help our analytics and engineering stakeholders interact with the data platform effectively. We're here at AWS reInvent. Could you give me a sense of what Databricks and AWS mean to Ibotta? Everything that we do that has to do with data all goes through Databricks. Databricks is our one-stop shop for everything that has to do with analytics and business intelligence, that kind of thing. Um, the rest of our platform, Ibotta, like the service layer is also hosted exclusively in AWS. So both of those platforms are extremely important to us as a company. So Jalen, what would you say to other principal data engineers or platform owners that they should think about to really take advantage of the data and AI landscape and the opportunities for their companies? Take some time to play around in the feature set. Um, so I, for me personally, the, the thing that I get most excited about with Databricks is that you get everything you need all in one place. Um, so it's this huge suite of cool and interesting and valuable tools. Um, it is, it's a really broad portfolio. And if you're coming from a less sophisticated platform, um, you may, your inclination may be to do things the hard way. <laughs> uh, especially if you're migrating, you, you might, uh, at least my inclination is, is to do things the hard way. So with those investments in AWS and Databricks, give me a sense of the scale of Ibotta from maybe some of the technical capabilities, but also just the services that you offer to the market. Um, so we have around 50 million users total. Yeah, so uh, we've grown a lot over the last several years since I've been there. Um, we work with about 2,700 brands. So Ibotta works with uh, some of the biggest retailers that you've heard of here in the United States. So that includes Walmart, includes Dollar General, um, and a number of other uh, partners that we have in our portfolio for the Ibotta Performance Network, um, which is how we serve loyalty rewards to uh, customers of those retailers. Um, so some very big names in our portfolio, and that means that we have a lot of big data coming into our platform as well. Everything that we do is driven by decisions that we de derive from the analytics platforms. Um, so what that means is uh, the scale of our data platform is pretty big. So we have in and around 400 pipelines that run every day. So thinking about those projects and the business challenges you get to solve, what are some examples of maybe a uh, workload that you have in production that's able to allow you to address those problems. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so some of our uh, machine learning workloads that have are, are really prominent in our portfolio are our personalization capabilities. So the ability to deliver the right offers to the right audience at the right time. Um, so this makes for a much better experience for our users and that they get to see something that is custom for them. Um, and feels really snappy and feels really relevant to them. And the machine learning models and other models that we produce drive decisions not only internally um, about the direction of the company and, and kind of the decisions that we make internally, but also uh, help enable our customers and our clients to make their own informed decisions. Right. So whether that's uh, we can see that this campaign is performing really well, so we're going to add budget. Um, or we can see that, you know, maybe we need to make adjustments to the targeting so that we can get this to the right people and, and so give, and give our uh, users the best experience. That's something that is informed by the machine learning models and kind of advanced data products that we have available. Awesome. Yeah. What about on either maybe some of the governance side of the house or some of the more traditional analytics side? How have you seen Databricks providing business impact? Uh, Unity Catalog is really unique um, in that it's a one-stop shop for not only managing the tables, but also managing uh, the governance and observing changes in uh, the data platform across the entire thing in one cohesive place. This is really, really important for us as a team or set of teams that's trying to manage a multi-petabyte data lake. 
Um, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of, there's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of things to manage. There's a lot of people involved. And so being able to see all of those changes in a nice organized way uh, that we can manage through an API or, or infrastructure as code, um, that makes life a lot better for us. And I don't think that we would be able to do that without the capabilities that Databricks provides for us. That sounds helpful. And you've got thousands and thousands of pipelines. Yes. So looking ahead, 2025 is around the corner. What's in Ibotta's plans? What are you excited about? Or what are you testing now to be ready for next year? Uh, honestly, my favorite thing is just getting to work on really challenging problems with really smart people. Um, so Ibotta is innovating really quickly and we are have been working on developing some really cutting edge features and functionalities to serve our customers better, but also to serve our clients better. Um, and we're doing that using the power of LLM as an AI and machine learning and all those kind of like advanced data handling capabilities. Okay. We've invested really heavily in that. And as somebody who specializes and has built my career around really cool data stuff, this is very exciting for me. Um, I get to participate in these like really exciting and innovative projects that mean I get to have a really tangible and outsized impact on the direction of the company and the success of, of what we're trying to build. So that's pretty cool. One of our biggest initiatives is we are trying to introduce to the industry a new way of measuring the impact and performance of an ad campaign. Um, it's just really difficult to measure what kind of impact you're actually getting. Um, so we think that we have a solution for that and it's data driven and it involves a lot of AI I and mean, predictive analytics and, and all these really cool and interesting things that we're doing at Databricks. Well, Jalen, thank you so much for sitting down and chatting with me today. Thank you.